<clears throat> Please rise for Lord Marshal Hanson. My boy, my dear, dear boy, you have no idea what manner of hell you have unleashed upon yourself. Now, I suppose it was only a matter of time before our partnership came to an end. We both knew that. Let's not lie to ourselves. We both had the same idea. I just got to it first. So, editor, if you'd be so kind as to run a list on screen of all Mr. Skippy's accomplishments here that he managed to accumulate under my watch. He didn't do anything. What has he been doing for six months? That at the beginning. That there, that is the only contribution you have made to this company and to this team. Because, son, you're a fuck up. I gave you the world. I gave you the fucking world. Immediate access to AAW, no tryout, no interview. And what did you do in your first appearance? You jumped on the side of the ring, getting involved in my match, and ultimately handing me my first pinfall loss as a result. But I should have thrown you to the curb there and then, but I didn't. I kept you around. I gave you a second chance. I got you a spot in the royal battle match, and I've had pisses that have gone on longer. But again... I kept you around. I saw something in you. But God knows what it was. I picked you to undergo training with J1, my head of security, and me on occasion, a former intercontinental champion. What did I get for it? What did I get for doing all that and not charging a penny? Failure after failure. Embarrassment after embarrassment. Beaten first in both tag team elimination matches. But still, I put my reputation on the line. I went to management and I pushed for you two to get a championship match. And what did you do with it? You pissed it all away. You were beaten soundly in 30 seconds. I gave you the keys to the kingdom. And what did you do with it? You've been here six months and your only claim to fame is being my whipping boy. On my worst day. I could run circles around you. You've got management, you've got commentary, singing your praises, doing everything in their power to get these fans behind you, to get some sort of reaction out of them. Do you know what they do to get those same reactions out of them for me? They turn this fucking camera on and they let me go to work. But it begs the question, what will last longer? This honeymoon phase you have with these pathetic fans or that piss poor excuse of a hairline? Now people are saying, shouldn't I be worried? Shouldn't I be embarrassed? I trained the man and now he's my enemy. He knows everything I know. You're so close to being right. But you see, I told him everything, but he never remembered any of it. Because if he did, he wouldn't have lost 90% of his matches. Now it's true, he knows me. 
but he doesn't know a single thing about me. It's true. I've lost. I'm man enough to admit I've even failed on occasion. But my biggest failure is and always will be you. You're a fucking disappointment.